The Vivo Fit by Garmin features a strange type of screen. It's not LED, it's not TFT, and unfortunately for our channel, it's not even e-paper. But what does that mean for it? Well, surprisingly, it's running a screen type that works very much the same way e-paper does. This technology is called MIP, Memory in Pixel. How it basically works is once an image is produced, the pixels individually don't actually use any more power until they are called upon. Therefore, if they don't change state, they'll never use any battery. That's pretty cool, honestly. MIP is usually reserved for small screens and smartwatches, so we don't really know how it's going to improve or be applied to large screen tablets. But for now, let's check out the Vivo Fit 4 by Garmin. So what is the functionality on this watch? And before we get to the app, we will look at it in its entirety. So the watch itself is a completely single unit, but it does have this, which means you can take it out of this band and buy different bands. So when we originally had it, at risk of not breaking it during the unboxing, we didn't know what actually came out, but it actually does and you're able to get different bands. So the only thing you have to concern yourself when you buy it, I guess if you care, is the body color of the inside, if they have alternative colors, because you can always change the band and the only thing that shows up is the screen itself. Now, MIP works in such a way that as we mentioned, the pixels don't do anything. So right now, as you see it, nothing is happening. The little radar is not moving, I'm not changing the image, and the black is just absent. It's just completely absent of any power. So that's really cool because I get color, I get kind of RLCD-esque reflectivity and ambient light power. You can see like that, the image almost goes away, like <laughs> it's almost gone there, but I reflect it into the light and I can see it as clear as an LCD screen. So that's really cool, but right now it's not using any power, other than, you know, if it's connected via Bluetooth and stuff like that, so wireless communications will always drain the power. And when you press the button, you are now calling on the pixels to change state. You press it again, you're calling on the pixels to change state. So the little feet are up and down right now, they're do 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 oh, they stopped. We're, no, we're in stasis mode, the pixels are sedentary, they're not moving. So that's kind of how it works. Now the screen is ridiculously small. It's smaller than my thumbnail. I don't have gigantic hands, but I have fairly large hands. This is a very small screen, and functionality is quite absent as is. If you want to buy this, some people, and me, myself included, I buy certain smart watches and use samples from Goody Reader. If it looks cool, like the Fossil watch, I don't connect it to my phone, I just like the look of the actual watch, and I use it for a watch. You can use this to some degree just as this kind of thing. You know, I want just a step counter. So I'll, I'll just get a step counter. And you can double tap to change things as well and cycle through your features. So as it stands, it's very devoid of functionality. But if you want, you could use it. So you see you can change the backgrounds of different colors. You can choose kind of countdown timers. You long press to say yes on something. So if I long press on here, long press on here I'm now toggling through all of the things I can press and hold on my timer and then click that and I've now triggered my stopwatch so you go one two three four you press that long press to go back and cycle back through everything once again you can see it's connected to Wi-Fi right there so we'll go like this and the other thing you can do is information and information just tells you the version number and what the device is about so as it stands alone the device can't really do anything and it's not meant to it's meant to be tethered to your phone and that's the only reason you would really get this because particularly uh, unless you're a hyper fan of e-paper technology and alternatives like we are you're not gonna uh, wear this on your wrist and someone's like whoa what's that you're like oh it's MIP and people are mostly gonna be like what's MIP and you're like oh it's it's like e-paper except it's color and it doesn't change doesn't use power until the pixels move and a lot of people are gonna look at you and be like so freaking what like why w <laughs> I don't care about any of that because that's not that cool so yeah it, it, it's it's a conversation piece for the right crowd like the people watching this video but outside of that it just looks kind of vanilla but it all changes when you connect it to your phone with the app because that's really the entire purpose 
So before syncing it and after looks completely different. We've added widgets, we've changed the way the actual background looks, we changed the color theme to blue, and now when you cycle through things, this takes top priority, and you have to press to go through all of the steps and calories at the bottom, and that's all done through the app. The app is pretty cool, it's pretty straightforward to be honest, I mean outside of this being MIP, it's not particularly amazing in the world of smartwatches I guess it's an activity tracker more than an actual smartwatch but that's subjective because people will say that anything that has more than two or three functions is considered smart if it connects via Bluetooth all that splitting hair stuff aside you can do a bunch of things on here you can go and explore your vivo fit and when you go to device settings you can do things like display you can change the watch face to multiple colors you can actually change your widgets too you can get rid of every single widget and just display time. If you want this to be nothing but an actual watch, turn everything off, leave time on, and then that's just a clock. It's a it's a wrist watch at that point. That's kind of cool. You can add custom widgets like beat yesterday, do your best, all that fun stuff. You go down to system and you can do auto sync and all of the traditional kind of functionality you will find with this. If you drop the top down, it'll start to refresh. It'll sync automatically X amount of times based on your settings to this unit right here it'll tell you how many calories you've burned there's no way I burnt 1,000 calories sitting here <laughs> at the review table don't be impressed that's not what actually happened you get a bunch of things like challenges as long as you're connected to the internet different things will show up based on the dates and everything you'll see there calendar you can look at historical data and moving forward things will update as you do them and you have a news feed because well Garmin's Garmin and might as well throw you some news at it and inbox if you need any sort of information via notifications that is everything like we said this is an e-paper alternative MIP is not exactly on the up and up, but we've seen more MIP memory in pixel devices in the past 16 months than we ever have doing good e-readers. So it is a viable alternative, but there is still an underlying reason that it must be expensive. We haven't gotten any official word, but there's no devices north of a half inch, one inch screen that uses MIP as its full display technology. So we're not sure why massive 10 inch 6 inch 5 inch even 4 inch devices haven't taken advantage of the technology outside of thumbnail size screens it must be the way that it utilizes power the way that once you do call upon the pixels to move that it's just an overload and it's just too demanding we'll find out more in the future as this technology brightens and this technology comes more into fruition for now this is everything you need to know about the vivo fit 4 by garmin and thank you to garmin for sending us this sample